What's the Chow Chow Chow? Stan Turgio here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Legends Arceus Let's Play. You know, Celine is probably quite annoyed at me doing uh, introducing the episode in her office, but nah, I don't care. Anyway, in the last episode, we beat Electrode. We beat her Cerulean Electrode, and we now have learned about the lands that include the final noble Pokemon. And we are going to head there. It is all about ice Pokemon today as we head to the Icelands. I'm looking forward to today's episode, but I will admit I'm a little ill. I have a bit of a cold coming on. And uh, I've had a bit of a cold for the past two days. It's one of the reasons why I haven't been recording that, and I've sort of been off, my, like busy a lot with like studying and uh, still doing topics because I'm not on exam leave yet. I'm just uh, so I still have to go to class. So it's moments in time. I'm all over the place, but you know, I kind of have to uh, give you guys content whilst I still can. And whilst I'm still able to, and uh, rest is not something I've ever been good at. You know, you really should rest when you're ill, but like, I've never been good at resting. I've never been good at stopping what I'm doing in order to, you know, do other, you know, in order to focus on resting. I've never been able to do that. It's just not something that Joe's ever been able to do in his life because Joe doesn't let illness win. That's my one thing. I don't let illness win. I could binge watch Star Trek but and put on my onesie, but I don't want to. I want to record for you guys. I want to go to school. I want to go to class. I want to go to work. Those are things I want to do because those sort of symbolize that is what normal life is to me. And if it's if I can't do those things because I am ill... Even though I'm not that ill. Because I'm not that ill, you know. I should be doing them. That's what it is. If as long as I'm not like bedridden, I should be doing the things that I should have been I should be doing the things that I should be doing. That's the way I look at it. So we are to make our ways uh, for the Abavessa Icelands. That's right. I see. Of course, I am uh, too aware of the injuries done to some of our good people because of the frenzies of other noble Pokemon. There seems to be little choice but to intervene. But this Avalog, out there in the Avavesta Icelands, I hear it hasn't harmed a soul. As I as I hear it, does it really debrood uh, us uh, going all the way out there to subdue it? If Avalog is as great as and mighty as they say, he very well could cause avalanches. The fact that he hasn't doesn't mean he couldn't. He's not going to. Avalanches don't require Pokemon's help, though. They occur naturally, on their own, you know. I confess, I still have my doubts whether we should uh, get involved in this situation. No damage has been done so far, but if we send Joe out there, we'll be putting him in danger and capable of and being in a situation of real harm. But if a lord is suffering in its frenzy, like people say, then wouldn't it be kinder just to quell it? There simply isn't... There simply is so much we don't understand when it comes to noble Pokémon. We don't know whether these frenzies are truly causing them to suffer, nor do we know why uh, they enter these states in the first place, or if there is 
all if they're all connected at all to the space-time rift. What is it, I wonder? That uh, the commander hopes uh, will come about uh, from quelling the nobles, or am I, or indeed from surveying any of the Pokémon of this land? What is it hope? What is he hoping for to achieve? A way to coexist? I certainly hope so. My goal is to research to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokemon. Professor Lavington? Uh, nothing to bother yourselves about. Doubtless I'm uh, just... I'm just being a silly sausage. You've uh, got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Joe? Then uh, we will we'll support it. The best support we can offer uh, to you now is to have another chance to put, uh, to practice your battle skills. All right, I'm gonna win, as Wario once said. I'm glad just to have the opportunity to battle you. Damn it, you're a friendly rival, aren't you, Aki? You don't hate you don't hate my guts like silver. You are just a friendly rival. Oh, I wanted you to hate my guts and say that this is you know, I took away your opportunity and stuff like that. The fact that I've been able to grow so much as a survey corp member and work together with Pikachu is due, due to you joining us. Alright, so she starts off with a Mr. Mime, and I'm starting off with Wildfire. Psychic is kind of annoying, but I kind of want to see what Infernal Parade does. Do it! Oh, it does nice damage, and it burns. But burn's not going to kill him this turn, it's going to kill him next turn. It's like... It kills him now, so he gets another chance to get off a psychic, which is annoying. I guess Beck. I mean, she is going into Staravia, so Beck is a good play. Brave Bird. Ah, I didn't do any damage. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thunderfang, go. Beautiful. And Pikachu. Okay, Iron Tail does some damage, but I'm fine with the amount of damage you did. I'm going to go for the Bite. Does about half. I can handle that. I get another attack. And another Bite should kill. There we go. Not bad. There's something natural about the sight of you and your Pokemon fighting together. Thank you. I think. Ooh. Rykwin can evolve. I might have to do that. About your mission in the Icelands. Well, uh, it will be a challenge. Be careful out there. As for me... I'll set off to the other Icelands forthwith. See you there, my boy. Okay. I mean, I'm kind of annoyed she didn't heal me. Would have been nice. Means I have to go back to my bed and uh, sleep. So, I can, uh, so everyone's ready to go to the other vessel Icelands. There 
we go. Everyone's now ready to go to the Avaressa Icelands, I think. I don't know if sleeping at uh, sleeping at your house, well, lodgings, actually heals you. Bag-wise, I'm fine. I guess I could take some uh, of. I can take all my um, ultra balls out. Do I actually have any money? Oh, I do. A dec a decent amount of money too. So. Maybe I can afford to buy some more from the mar uh, if the uh, if he's got the right thing for me. Um. Nope, you have not got the right set for me. By the way, this mechanical cabinet and this mechanical tub. Um, they're basically the rhodomiums. You can put them in your lodging. Uh, you can put them in your lodgings, and basically, you know, if you have Rodum in the front of your party, Rodum will interact with them and will turn into its Rodum forms. So that is a way that you can get Rodum forms in this game. Wow, it's kind of beautiful. And there's Snow Point Temple. I think. You're not happy here, are you, um, uh, Professor Lavington? My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture to the Apavessa Icelands. Apart from Tiahana, uh, lending uh, the odd supply, corpse exclusions, uh, extensions to gather materials. But the Survey Corp, of course, must go anywhere Pokemon can be found. From what I gather, the Ice Park Arena is where you'll find Avalok. It's rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless, that this mission to tackle Avalok will be a dangerous one. Learn all you can from Ilda and Adman to try and keep yourself safe. It's a bit brisk out here, isn't it, Joe? Aren't you freezing? Freezing? I'm practically sweating out here. If you, you think it, this is bad, just wait. Uh, this is... Just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're heading. You know, I'm beginning to think uh, the problem uh, between us isn't a diamond or pearl clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. We'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how we could, as long as you and your and your clan cling to the visions of Almighty Sinnoh's an Almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time. Forgive my bruteness, but if such a thing does exist. It's completely not Almighty Sinner. Yes, yes. Believe what you want. Just tell me where we have to go. We're heading to see my teacher. He is the only one who can be found in this place. Which is? You're taking... You're talking about that Gaelic fella... Uh, uh, right? Where where can we find him? At Avalug's legacy, obviously. Uh, where else? Uh, but a great 
mess of ice could I have meant uh, where I said when I said it we'd be heading somewhere else even cooler and colder where else indeed ready to go Joe sure stomp off without me this is why I can't stand people who only care about uh, whether time is passing uh, them by. See you at Avalog's Legacy, Joe. Take care on your way. All right. Uh, but before we continue on, Rykwin, evolve. Do it. If only I had a protector, though. Because Rhyperia could be a thing immediately if I had a protector. But maybe I can find one somewhere. The one thing I will notice that in this game is... Um, there isn't things like jumpers or anything like that. So this is going to be interesting to go into a cold area where it's freezing. And there is no jumpers. They're just these kimono, uh, these clothes. So, this is going to be interesting. Uh, there's a bird. I want, I want the snow runs. Snow run, come with me. Snow run! Yay, snow run came with me. Ooh. I mean, I see that... Oh, you can climb ice. Okay, that's good. I just... I see the immediate danger that there's sort of a gap between, like, the cliff faces, and I can't actually get up there without having to go down. Which could cause me damage, but also could not cause me damage. But we'll see. Can I just catch you from up here? Or do I have to go down to you? I just about hit you. And that's probably why you're not going to catch and you're running away. And you're gone. Never mind. I can get away from... I can stop... I can stop spamming the button now to actually try and throw a, bu uh, throw a Pokeball. Okay, so what is this? Ooh, Iron Chunks. Nice. What can we find in this cave, I wonder? Ooh, Bergmite. Okay. Oh, wow, you don't actually have any, uh... Yep, yeah, you're enraged. I was trying to throw a heavy ball at you, but I didn't realise how heavy heavy balls are. Maybe I shouldn't be using heavy balls in this place. I'll go back to great balls. Maybe that'll catch the bird mite? Oh. Didn't catch the bird mite, and bird mite might want to be angry with me. So I'm going to try and uh, not make it angry with me. Uh, 
and maybe try again. There we go. There we go. I just need to try again. I'm happy with that. I caught a bergmite. Where are we off to exactly? Map. Okay, so I'm here. And I'm trying to head to there. And there's a request over there. Am I on at least the right path? I think I am. I'm not sure. All I know is I'll use this time to see if I can get any like raw materials just in case I need them. For some reason, I don't know what I'm going to be needing uh, out here, but there probably are like unique items that grow out here. There's items that grow everywhere as well, but you know. I'll take the unique items that might grow out here, just in case. And there's snow runt, which I'm, I mean, I got a snow runt. I'm, I'm not saying I'm not interested in snow runt right now. Just I have, I have a snow runt. I will catch more snow runt when time goes on. But for the moment in time, I uh, really need to catch more snow runs. Uh, this thing's angry with me. But it can't see me, so you know, it it's a it's gonna be a you know, it's gonna be a pain for it because of that is it's not very good at move a movering. A movering around. Can I get a piggy? I want a piggy. Piggy! I caught a piggy! Can we get evolution of piggy? Evolution of piggy? Oh. No evolution of piggy. But that's okay. Let's try this way then. Uh, flame wheel? Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Okay, Icicle Crash. I can probably take that. And Ancient Power. I kind of take that. Can I catch you now in an Ultra Ball? Yeah, I can. Cool. Got a pillow swine. Big Piggy. I will very much take Big Piggy. And there we go. Combination of Super Potion and Regular Potion gets me back up to full health. Let's switch out and switch to someone who's much more capable of going faster. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you alone. I don't want to be dealing with a bomber snow right now. Nor do I want to be dealing with Glalie. Here's our person. There we are. Well, this is a real slog. Fighting those uh, uh, four icy winds to reach this desolate sort of nowhere. Well done to us. This gentleman here is Avalok's warden and my most honourable teacher, Gal... Galik. Show some respect, Avman. Let's begin with proper introductions. I am Gallic of uh, the Pearl Clan. Mm. And you are Joe, right? Of the Galaxy Team. 
Answer me this, would you? On the ground... On what grounds do you come to seek to quell Lord Avalok? In it, his frenzy, I'm here to help. Not because I've been asked to, but because I want to. That leads me to my next question. What's wrong with him being frenzied? Ugh, again, we have to go through this argument of, oh, maybe it's a good thing that the Pokemon are frenzied. Just accept the fact that it's a bad thing that Pokemon are frenzied, please. I know that I have to teach this to so many different people, but god damn it, will you just accept the fact that it's a bad thing? Pokemon do not want to be frenzied. It could trouble others. Then I have another question. Setting aside any orders. What is your... What is your heart telling you to do? To quell its frenzy. Our mighty lord of the Tundra Avalog has done nothing to trouble anyone. Or, or people or Pokemon. That's because people don't really come out here. It's cold, it's remote, there's not a lot of Pokemon here. Like, there's no reason to come out here. People don't really come out here, so that doesn't mean it won't harm people. Just means it hasn't yet. Sir, please try and keep your cool. You're talking to a man who's sh uh, wearing no shirt in the middle of the Icelands, and you're telling him to keep his cool. Ain't gonna happen. It's freezing out here and he's not wearing a shirt. Put some clothes on, mate. For now, indeed. Uh, for now, indeed, Avalogs cause no trouble. But aren't we also duty bound to free our people from living in fear of such a colossal Pokemon? That it might wreak havoc at any moment. We are, uh, we are. There are certain, there's certainly logic to that. But what if? Uh, but if that's uh, what we hope to accomplish, then we must judge whether a child is up to this task. Who cares about grand understanding? Uh, about the grandstanding. Let's get to battling. Let's start. My must, uh, my musticular mystique is hard, as uh, undenying as ice. Think you can break through? Just because you've got muscles doesn't mean that you, you know. That I'm not going to be able to break you down and beat you up with my Pokemon. Oh, this is a handicap match. Yeah, like, can we please stop with this? Can we like stop with the ha with the constant handicap matches? It's kind of annoying. I mean, at least Frostlass is walking. Is a, uh, you know. is not actually attacking me, so there is that. But I really don't like this constant handicap match that you're going through. Slasher. Do you want to try and maybe, I don't know, finish uh, this Galele off with close combat? There we go. Okay, so this frost lass is only level 24. That's fine then. I'm fine. But you... Oh, you're one of those ice ones that doesn't... Oh, you don't have it. I was thinking you were going to have your namesake. You're supposed to have Night Slash. Strong style poison jab. Did decent damage. And I poisoned it. Take that. But... You do more damage this turn because of a crit. Oh. That's annoying. I was kind of hoping Slash would be able to deal with this. 
Fine. Go Y Quinn. Right Quinn. Rock slide. And there we go. Outstanding. I'm as tough as an iceberg, but you shattered through and through. I suppose you can... Uh, you can all uh, get on without it uh, now. This uh, one's all right. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Joe, but I vouch for him. If that helps, it does not, but I don't care. Then, if you insist, quelling Avalog's frenzy, you may want uh, to ca claim some of the eternal ice he likes and bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck. Eternal ice. Eternal ice. Is that? For that, you'll need to be able to fly, which means you'll need bravery. Long story short, you'll be seeking out a lady named Sabi. Tell. Uh, tell the long story long. You're not saving any time uh, if we waste it by puzzling, uh, puzzling out what you mean. Isn't Avalog one of the Pearl Clan's lords? Seems it's a bit odd for me to do uh, the uh, talking. But listen up. The Eternal Ice stuff can be found on top of of Avalog's legacy, right here. But to get there, you'll need my help. My clan's help. Not even Celestia, uh, Celicula, uh, can climb uh, this surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to need to approach it from air with bravery's help. Garlic, Garrick uh, once managed to climb uh, nearly to the top of Avalog's legacy. I'll have you know. He uh, said he's uh, made it within six feet of the top. Might takes it right, or at least height. Um, about Slabby. How do I put this? Even when she's not flying with bravery, she's got her head in the clouds. Well, you'll understand once you meet her. Head towards Snowpoint Temple, and you'll uh, probably come across her sooner or later. What? Slabby! Oh, she's here now! My convey, my clairvoyance told me that I, uh, um, I lead you on a chase. Think you can reach me? I see what you mean about Slavy, but uh, why would she be up there? Since she seems you need to focus on pursuing Warden Slavy. And let me focus on my workouts whilst I still can. Yeah, because your body needs to be more muscular. Anyway, we're going to end off today's episode here. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Join us next time when we will go on a quest with Slavy and see if we are able to soar the skies. But until next time, I am Lancer and Joe. Means a lot of Pokemon get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Actually, wait, before I go, uh, before I leave off this video, don't close out this video just yet. 
there's uh, been a vote on my Twitter that I I put a, a vote because when I a couple of years back when I made this channel I thought to myself I'm never gonna reach a thousand subscribers and I it happened I wasn't expecting it it, it happened and because of that, I once said that I would shave my head of its hair uh, in order to, uh, once I happen to get there. Now it's actually happened, I'm going to have, I might have to actually go through with that. So go to my Twitter, at Lantern Joe, and vote. There's a poll that will be available this whole entire weekend. It ends Monday, so... Go and vote. Should I shave my head, lose a majority of my hair, and turn it into a video for you guys? Because it might actually, you know, I can answer those questions that you've always asked about me, that you might have always wanted to ask about me. If you have any Lantern Joe questions that you want to ask, then please do. You know, ask those questions and, uh, and let me know, because... I will collect some questions together and we'll, I'll answer some questions whilst my sister-in-law, who's kindly offered to shave me, it, it, to shave my head, she's got the tools because she actually does it to my brother a few times a year anyway. So she's willing to do it to me as well. Shows what my family's like anyway. But, um, you know, if you have any questions for me, do it. Ask those questions and I'll answer them in a video whilst getting my head shaved for you guys. So, you know, ask the questions. Ask questions. You know, and also vote in the poll to, um, uh, to, know, to see if I should be doing it or not. Anyway, until next time, I'm Lantern Joe. Mean to the Pokemon, get to Lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night! Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. You can also check out these two videos in the top right and top left hand corner. And don't forget to check out Power Zone Metal. It's a weekly radio show where you can listen to heavy metal music and so much more. You can find out more information about that at powerzonemetal.uk but until next time I am Lantern Joe and I will see you next time